everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Francisca and I think you can say I'm an artist. I hope you're doing great today. I have a sketch. I really want to paint. I'm going to be using a birthday present from a few years ago that I've been too scared to use, actually. Now I can just pull it. Yeah. Just pull it. Yeah. Hey. Okay. This is pretty good paper, actually. Here is the glorious, expensive paper. I'm going to be using this watercolor pencil to transfer the sketch, and I want to keep this. It's kind of fun, it's a bit melancholic, but at the same time, it's kind of fun. There is a lot of things and details that I find very fun to work on. She feels very soft. I want to keep that vibe. I'm really digging this orange and blue color scheme going on on camera, so I think I'm going to be using the orange and blue palette. Okay, so I'm going to be using a ceramic dish that is not meant to be a palette, but it is a palette because I say so. I have my water there and my brushes here. They are size 8 and a size 16. Uh, Raphael 835 Petit Gris Pour. Oh, what my this? I rather have good paper and good pigment and try to deal with not so good brushes than invest in brushes. You know what I mean? The palette I'm going to be using is an old tin that my mom gave me. I have a video actually on how I made a palette out of this. I made it very warm, so you have one yellow, two oranges, several earth tones and two reds, so, and one blue. So this blue is cobalt blue. I am going to allow myself to use another blue to mix with the oranges to make a proper, very inky dark color. This hand looks very freaking bad. I was trying to not to use an eraser here, but hands, man. So I took a picture very quick, and not only I understood the hand, I know that I messed up the elbow too, because I made her elbow very, very visible in a place where it shouldn't be visible. And her boob is probably too big too. Okay, so I was taking more pictures. I would only actually see the hand, not the arm. This makes a bit more sense and that means that you either push your elbow forward which would be very strange to do or you keep it close to your body so you could see a little bit here i'm going to change this curve to make a bit more sense because otherwise it doesn't i think it is already looking a bit better <laughs> sorry i need to stop They are so cute! <laughs> I had to, sorry, okay? Let's bring it back. Should be kind of okay. Well, I'm not gonna change the hand. This part, this part I wanna change. Angle is more like that. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's getting better. Because I still want it to feel like she's connected to her own body, kinda, a little bit. Feels good enough. I forgot the other hand. I forgot this hand. Damn, okay. Should I just hide it? This feels like I'm just trying to make the hand as awkward as I can. That's not my goal. Maybe I can just, I don't know, make all the fingers in the same position and... Okay, okay, okay. It's kind of decent. It's, 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 it's good enough. I know that this area is going to be kind of dark, so I think I'm just going to... Oh, okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's, a, it's an okay color. I forgot to account for the orange in the pencil, so she's going to be more orange than expected. But it should be fine. She's gonna be very, very orange. I'm going to have to grab a blue from a different palette because there's no way I'm going to be able to make this skin tone cooler without making it granulating while only having one blue that is granulating, like cobalt blue. I 
think it's more wise to go and finish the skin first. I'm going to grab a blue from a different palette. It is PB60 Idanthron Blue. I think I want the light coming from above. Slightly to the left, maybe a little bit behind. So that would mean that most of the body would be in shadow. So I think I can safely add shadow up to here. And in that way, I think I can connect all the shadow on her figure in one single unified shadow. I've always heard this tip of try and unify the shadows into one or two shapes because it does kind of help to keep the shapes cohesive and it kind of helps to lead the eye in a different way. So I'm going to try and do that. I did extend a little bit of the skin tone into the hair because I think it looks extremely cool in like anime fan art. When people do like in digital art, when people give a little bit of a skin color glow to the hair of the characters near the face, it really does look like there's light coming from the face into the hair. It's very strange, but I really like it. So I'm going to do that conscious choice. Next step will be making the green that I'm going to be using, or the greens that I'm going to be using on the greenery. <laughs> Where else would I be using it, right? The bigger leaves, I want them to be more bluish. I need a break because this is a little bit in the ugly stage. I don't want to call it ugly, I like how it is turning out, but I know this is where I can mess up very easily, so and I'll be back. Okay, so I just came back from my break and having lunch and saying that I was here in class. So next step is going to be trying to fix whatever I did there because I used too much water and I touched the wet wash before I was supposed to touch it, so that happened. And I always forget that happens when I spend a lot of time without using watercolors. So I'm going to work on the shadows away from that area because I just put water there. So that would m will make things worse. I don't know what? why what? I did that, but what? what I'm going to do now is add shadows where I need them. Oh, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Oh. I'm going for another layer of the shadows down here so that I can paint these plants. What I love in Idanthron Blue is that it immediately makes greens very moody, very dark and very desaturated simply because it is a very warm blue and I'm mixing it with a middle to slightly warm yellow. Okay, so I went to look at some pictures from, I think it was quickposes.com or something like that. And now I know why I'm having such a hard time with this area. I need to leave a little tiny bit of a highlight in here on the arm. And I need to leave a little bit of a shadow on the belly just to separate it. And it doesn't need to be too dramatic but it needs to be there. So I'm going to need a more sturdy brush to scrape a little bit. I want to pick up a little bit around here. This feels very wrong, by the way. So I forgot a very important thing regarding the shadows. I was thinking this looked very flat, very not alive. And um, I noticed that I forgot something that I learned recently and that I would like to apply here. 
and that is a subsurface scattering. So you know when you put your hand over a flashlight and you see this red light? Uh, that is called subsurface scattering and it has to do with light going through your blood vessels. But I learned recently that if you add a little bit of that red right to the line where your shadows meet your highlights, that is the place where subsurface scattering would be seen or noticeable. But I do think she looks more human like this. <laughs> It can be a bit too much sometimes, but I'm st I can st always add more layers of other colors. But yeah, I think I should have started here. <laughs> I seriously was not expecting this to make such a big difference, but it did. <laughs> like, I knew it was important, but I'm going to be using this a lot more now. And even in other projects, I need to figure out where I want to go from here. Because technically, the, le the next step would be deciding on the hair color before I go on to the darkest darks and the most important pop of pops of color. So I took a picture and imported it into an app called Sketchbook by Autodesk, I think. So basically I imported the, the drawing here or the painting and because I'm having many doubts and one of the things I'm doubting a lot is is the hair color and I don't know I'm going to paint it like dark brown for the sake of simplicity and then I can change it and so we can see what I'm painting but here's the thing right um, with brown it will just be another brown blob like the rest of the body like it will just blend in just enough for us to understand what, what is, is going, going on, on inside their head oh it's good enough doesn't need to be more than that i think i'm going to turn like all the dandelions into either poppies or whatever flower this is simply because it's uh, less messy like this oh i do like the red <laughs> i really like the red i wanted to do like a blue and orange but I, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to blue and orange I can change the color of all of these layers later on now I can see how that probably doesn't work very well in blue I think I'm going to change that I'm just gonna clean this up it doesn't need to be ultra clean I just really want to see how this looks in a very basic way because I didn't do color cops <laughs> I just went right into it. I wanted this blue to be quite flat, actually. And I may actually use the exact same color here. I actually really like this app now. I remember not enjoying it that much back when I first used it. Oh, I like this. Let's change something. So this red doesn't really work like this in real life. It's probably going to be a bit darker, like this. It's more likely to look like to look like this than to look how it was looking. I just dropped the saturation a little and dropped the luminosity a little bit, the brightness, sorry. I was really enjoying it kind of light actually, but that goes against the shadows I already did. Uh, I think I'm gonna go even darker, more saturated and darker. Maybe I could go a bit greener actually. Maybe I should just go a bit lighter and go down on the saturation. Go maybe greener. I kind of like this combo. Do you like it? And I can just mix it up and like this one can be way darker. So I want this part to be dark and that but like can you see where i'm going this can look kind of cool but i can also make it a bit lighter i don't think i want it too much lighter but just a little bit or maybe because initially i was thinking about going pretty damn dark it actually looks kind of weird when it goes too dark i lose a lot of definition but I really like it like this. I think this is about how dark I want to go. And I kind of like this with the purplish thing. Because I also had some lavender sprigs there. This looks a lot better than I was expecting. And this was just very fast. Like finger painting on top of something else. And I kind of... I kind of want to keep the hair brown. I'm just going to go into the hair layer and go into this 
and see how much the picture changes when I actually just move this and make it lighter for instance does that look cool? I'm not entirely sure but I kind of want to go like icy gray I'm not sure actually I do think the brown looks pretty cool because it makes the other colors pop so maybe like this yeah I'm gonna keep it brown I'm gonna keep it brown this is the color comp I'm going to be using this app more often actually I'm pretty happy okay let's keep let's keep painting yeah <laughs> okay okay let's work on the face because as soon as the face looks decent things will start to look more decent <laughs> you know what I mean so oh, I'm gonna do some of the shadows that I know it's like very strange sunglasses right now I'm trying to connect the shadows like I did below like the nose <laughs> this looks very very strange I know but don't worry yeah I'm, gonna, I'm just going to <laughs> there we go better there's a lot of weird ass texture here now I think this is going a tiny bit better while the face dries I'm going to apply a little bit more of the purplish red over there hopefully it is more opaque on the second coat okay so let's keep working on the face so that I can finally work on the hair so that I can finally get to the details that I've been dying to do so these dark parts are way darker than they are on the body but I can always add more on the body I don't really want to make this a very hard edge because I still want her to look very soft and sweet what I'm going to do is add the green parts down here I think it will start looking a bit more finished as I add this. On the plants I wanted to keep some of the colors a bit more realistic and what I mean by that is like lavender has a more desaturated almost grey type of green while some of the other wildflowers you see like dandelions and poppies have different types of greens like either darker or more saturated so even though I don't know much about those other types of wildflowers, the lavender I want it to be very desaturated in comparison. This project is like reminding myself of why I love to use watercolors. It's like, ooh, colors, ooh, I can mix them. Like, it was great to find a hobby like sewing this past few months, but at the same time, I kind of lost a little bit for a while of the why I've been doing this, why I got into art, why I wanted to keep doing art for like the rest of my life. And the other day I was watching, I was watching anime. It's one about cosplay. At some point they talk about one of the main characters motivation for working on things. And that reminded me like, oh yeah, that was the reason why I wanted to do this. Part of the reason is just the fact that I want to do things with my hands and the other part is that I want to make people smile. I want to make people rediscover beauty in some way. So in this very gray world for some reason. So and I had forgotten about that goal and that made me want to paint this lady. That also got me thinking about other elements of what makes things amazing, and that led me to the idea that nature cheats. You know, we're still all basically just animals, and even if we're not always driven by our instincts, we still feel them. And so we still are hardwired to find wonder and beauty in the natural world. Then I'm going to add like eyelashes and eyebrows and things like that that will be very, very dark. Since I don't really have a black here, what I'm going to do is mix the sepia with edanthron blue. For the hair, I'm going to be using mostly the sepia. Mix it with a little bit of some of the colors I used on the skin to make it a little bit warmer, not too much. Now that we have a hair color, fill this in with water first. I'm going to add the colors there. I made it quite purple. So I think I'm going to keep it that way, towards here a little bit more. Because it is a big shape, I wanted to just... I like the contrast now. 
and when I add the red flowers, I think it's going to look so much better. Okay, so I think I'm going to paint this gray and the same on the neck and hopefully it will not stand out too much because this is not the focus. Um, but it still needs to be in shadow, but I don't want it to be to stand out as much as other places. Does it look great? No, but it doesn't stand out as much as I feared. I like it darker. Okay, so now that the paint is almost dry, I think, I'm going to grab a different palette and I have in here cadmium red light. Now, I usually don't use cadmium, especially now that I have cats, because I'm always scared, since it is so toxic, I'm very scared that they drink the paint water. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the Caput Morton Violet I have on the other palette, just to darken it a little. I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm really freaking happy with the red. I think I'm going to add a little bit to the lips, just a tiny bit. I just noticed I didn't give her eyebrows. I think I want to go with a slightly darker red for the upper lip. I think I'm going to just add the lavender. I'm just going to mix a little bit of the white gouache with the watercolor. I'm going to add a little bit more green around here. I want to add a little, little bit of cadmium red, like pure, without any mixes, in the middle of the flowers. I kind of feel the need to line this very lightly. That makes a very big difference. Just wasn't very, very precise. That was bothering me. Maybe I can make the eyes a little bit lighter. Forgot that gouache always darkens a little when you use uh, very light colors. I'd like them to stand out a tiny bit more. I don't need it. I don't want it to be exactly white because eyes are in the shade. So the white part of the eye is not gonna be white. The only thing that can maybe be white is the highlight. The rest of the eye is not gonna be pure white. But I just really want to use cadmium red to sign. I just think it looks so cool. I guess I'm done and I'm very proud of how it's looking. I'm very proud of how it turned out. And I'm really happy I actually decided to change projects last minute. I have a lot of hours to edit. I'm thinking of making this available at my shop, like the original, but I'm not sure yet. So but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me do this. And yeah, I had a lot of fun. Have a great day and have a great week. I hope to see you next week again for another project. Thank you very much and bye.